Hello everyone. We are the High Rise Corporation, specializing in facade cleaning, and today we will be presenting a new automated window cleaner. My name is Mahmoud Musa, and here with me is Mustafa Ahmed, Lin Fei Huang, Yuro Chin, and Bram Zhou Singh. Mustafa is going to be starting us off with addressing the problem of concern. High-rise buildings facade cleaning is an extremely dangerous task when carried out by labor forces, likely to cause injuries or even death in some situations. The safety risk is considerably higher in Canada compared to other nations due to the extreme weather conditions. There are many technological advancements available today that tackle the safety issue regarding facade cleaning by implementing an automated system. What these inventions and prototypes mainly lack is efficiency. The price for trying to solve the safety issues is the decrease in the overall efficiency. The ideal goal is to create an automated facade cleaning system that completely eradicates the manual procedure but at the same time increases the efficiency as much as possible. This is done by addressing and tackling each one of the major problems that come with an automated cleaning system independently including operating costs, energy and water consumption, conveyance over windowsills, and washing mechanisms. Replacing a manual worker with an automated cleaning system would have a huge positive impact on the surrounding society, since injuries and deaths would simply be eliminated. When looked at from an environmental perspective, finding an alternative for existing systems focuses on significantly improving energy and water consumption eventually decreasing the ecological footprint of the specific task. The presence of labor workers cleaning high-rise buildings has negative impacts on the economy since it is much more costly in the long run than having an automated system. Even though the system itself may not be cheap, over a longer period of time, it will have a significantly lower cost. My partner Mahmoud Musa will now be discussing the process taken to arrive at the solution to the addressed problems. In the early stages of this design process, our scope of the project mainly consisted of creating a machine with a sensor that identifies the areas which need to be cleaned and the degree at which they are to be cleaned. Keeping environmental sustainability in mind, the sensor was also meant to identify the exact amount of resources needed in order to not use more resources than required. As the design advanced, we incorporated many other functions to keep the system running smoothly, but the sensor used as an actuator remained a necessity. After conducting extensive research on the criteria of operating such a machine in Ontario, we found constraints issued by the Ontario Ministry of Labour. We also added our own standards in order to successfully surpass similar designs in the market. According to the Ontario Ministry of Labour, we found that the mass of the machine must not exceed 1,000 kilograms, and as a safety requirement for industrial robots, it must have an emergency stop mechanism in case of malfunctions. Some of our own standards and criteria consisted of being able to work safely out of a height 150 meters, limiting the use of chemicals or use none if possible, and finally, minimizing the cost of production. Following these constraints and criteria, we generated three prototypes to determine the most effective design based on quantitative comparisons. Our first design mainly focuses on crossing obstacles on the facade using an expandable robotic arm, four rotatable suction cups powered by a vacuum pump, and a servo motor for actuation. Design B specializes in the quality of cleaning and environmental sustainability. Only water is used in this design rather than chemicals. And to maximize the cleaning quality, it utilizes a brush at the bottom of the system to scrape out the dirt off the window and a squeegee at the top to avoid water residue on the windows. The last design prioritizes speed and environmental sustainability but with a major cost inflation. All three designs are equipped with a sensor to monitor the cleanliness but the last design is fitted with a costly high-tech sensor to identify the most effective speed at which the window is. The three designs were tabulated and rated based on cost, weight, cleaning speed and quality, power and water usages and adaptability to different structures and heights. Option A excelled in the weight category with the lowest weight of 2.96 kilograms and in adapting to different structures with the expandable robotic arm. Option B had the most effective cleaning mechanism with the brush and the squeegee system, making it very favorable. Option C 
stood out with its exceptional cleaning speed of 0.33 meters squared per second. Taking into consideration all of the criteria and summing them, design B surpassed the other two options, making it the design that we modified and perfected. My partner, Lin Fei, will be describing the final design that we are Thank you, Muhammad. Now, I'm going to talk about the disruption of the final design. The appearance of the machine is shown in the picture. There is a water supply tube, a power supply well. Furthermore, there is a safety well to ensure the machine won't fall to the ground if the suction cup systems cannot work properly. The overall structure of our robots consists of two main parts, water supply system and the mechanical structure. First of all, in order to distribute water evenly at brush, the water pipe with four spray nozzles were placed on the top of the brush. Then, the water pipe connected to an on or off valve, which is controlled by the control system to hold and release water. In order to minimize the weight of our robot, it won't carry the water tank. Instead, the water is supplied by a tube from the tank on the top of the building. And also, a certain amount of water with constant handies will be stored in the tube to provide enough pressure for those nozzles to work properly. Thus, a water pressure sensor is placed at the valve. If the pressure is under certain pressure, the control system will respond quickly and increase the water supply from the roof. Next, the mechanical structure which is the most important to make sure our robots can work properly and safely. Primarily, the, at the middle of the machine, the motorized ball screw system can drive the machine vertically up and down and two vacuum suction cup systems work together for clamp on the surface. In order to move, the suction cup system two on the horizontal bar are released from the surface, then the bar moves down from the top of the body to the bottom. When it reach, reaches the, the bottom, the system two adhere on the surface again. Then the suction cup system one on the main body released from the surface. After that, the main body begins to move down vertically. While the body moves, all clean components start to work, and the system 2 moves back to the top of the body as well. Finally, the system 1 is here on the surface again. The specific movement process is shown in this video. Next, at the bottom of the machine is the rotary cleaning brush. The brush shaft is powered by the driving motor through 1 vs 1 pulley ratio transmission and the 1 vs 1 ratio gear system. On the other hand, on the top of the machine, there is a one squeegee and a spongy. The squeegee can be used to wipe down the residual water on the glass. Then the spongy can clean the water lines on the glass that are left by the squeegee. Thank you, Lin, for introducing the overall design. Here, we'd like to get into the details of our primary function. The primary function of the machine is cleaning window in a high-raised vertical facet. To ensure the cleanness of the window, a 0.8-meter nylon rotary brush with a penetration of 2 cm is sprayed with purified water to clear any dirt or rough residuals on the surface. And a 0.8-meter rubber squeegee with 1 newton normal force is used to wipe the water downwards. Because the machine cleans the window vertically, it is unavoidable to have water line at the side of the squeegee. As a result, a 0.85 meter sponge with a web net surface design is that to absorb any remaining water. To ensure the above functions are feasible, a motorized ball screw system and two suction cup systems are used in our machine. The information is shown below in the table. The motorized ball screw system allows the vertical movement of our machine, and it is consists of a ball screw, a stepper motor, and two guide rails. In order to ensure the safety and functionality of our design, each component is selected with a corresponding formula. First, the maximum axial force on the ball screw is estimated by axial process force, mass being moved, and coefficient of friction. 
with a safety factor of 2, Fa is equal to 211.24 Newton. Thus, a M60 times 5 mm carbon steel ball screw is selected. Here's a picture of it. Based on the axial load, the drive torque of the motor can be estimated by adding TD, TP, and TF together. And the drive torque is around 2 Newton meter. Thus, a stepper motor with a 2 Newton meter rated torque is selected. Finally, for the guide rail, a cylindrical aluminum rail is chosen to minimize the friction. Here is a picture of it. Moving on to the suction cup system. The suction cup system is used to make sure the machine stick to the window under regular and irregular operation condition. Each system consists with two suction cups, two vacuum pumps, and two vacuum breakers. Same as the motorized ball screw system, the components are verified with formulas. First, the suction force F is calculated for selecting a suction cup. With a safety factor of 2, F is equal to 1135.352 newtons. Thus, negative 600 m bar round plate suction cup with a diameter of 0.25 meter is selected. Based on this, the vacuum pressure P is calculated to be 23 kilopascal, and it can be used for selecting vacuum pump. Here is the vacuum pump selected. It can provide a negative 25 kilopascal of pressure with a 12 volt power supply. Also, a corresponding vacuum breaker with a solenoid control system is selected. Next, my partner Bramcher will talk about technical evidence of other needs and impact. Moving on with health and safety. One of the main reasons why the automated window cleaner was made was to make high-res window cleaning safer. Research shows that one person was killed on average every year in the last decade, and this is in the U.S. alone. Over 80 high-res window cleaning washing accidents have been reported in the past 15 years, and more than 50% of these accidents were fatal. Implementing an automated system, such as the one shown, will completely eliminate the need of labor workers and hence bring the number of accidents to zero. To know the economic benefit, it is important to calculate water and labor savings with the implementation of the said machine. To calculate water usage, the current formula was used, where water efficiency times cleaning speed gives us the water usage. The water usage of our machine was calculated to be 0.4 liters per meter squared, and the cleaning speed was measured to be 114 meters per squared per hour. This results in the water usage of 45.6 liters per hour. Comparing this to the values on the table on the right, we can see that our design uses less water than any of the competitors. In order to calculate labor cost, the, fo the following formula was used, where hours to clean times hourly pay times number of workers give us the labor cost cleaning a 200 meter tall building. After solving this equation, we can see that a labor cost is $108,000. Now to calculate our labor savings, the machine cost was divided by the labor cost, and then the whole thing subtracted by one, which gives us a labor cost or labor savings of 81.48% or a cost of $88,000. It is clear that the machine was designed to be aggressively competitive in the sector. The automated window cleaner uses no chemicals, helping aid the change and leading the way towards a greener future. The only product used for cleaning is ionized water. Even though we're using a non-chemical based approach, the resources wasted are reduced to the minimum while maintaining a high clean quality. 